Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Henry. Hey, before we get started, if you would be so kind, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. This really helps us grow the channel. Threat to democracy. Existential threat to democracy. Fascist. Put Trump in a bullseye. Put a target on Trump. This seems to be the left's mantra for this election. How many times have you heard Democrats say these things about President Trump? I ask you to hold a couple of thoughts in your head simultaneously. Thought number two is, you know, Donald Trump is a, um, you know, is a fascist and represents an existential threat to democracy. And, um, you know, that fact is, um, is far more important than any declines that uh, Biden may have seen. In the first uh, major speech of his reelection campaign, arguing that Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy. Here's Rachel Scott. Tonight, in his first major speech of the election year, President Biden made the case Donald Trump is an existential threat to our democracy. Never mind that the left is on a coordinated attack on the First Amendment. So you would expect Trump to be an ogre, a tyrant, an unbearable. Well, let me show you the Donald Trump the left doesn't want you to meet. <laughs> What's your, what's your name? Nay. Now, he's supposed to look like Donald Trump, but he's actually much too good looking. You are really handsome. Are you having a good time tonight? Night. Where's your daddy? And your mommy, right? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them, or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. He doesn't look like a threat to democracy, does he? What has Kamala Harris done for the victims of Hurricane Helene? Absolutely nothing. But President Trump has raised over $5 million through his GoFundMe page for victims of the hurricane. Harris and Waltz have taken to calling themselves joyful warriors. We don't need a joyful warrior in the White House. We need a proven leader. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.